appreciating measures to boost the agriculture, health and education sectors, industry representatives seemed satisfied with the budget proposals. The new budget put forward by Finance Minister Pichadambram in some way or the other will provide relief to industry thereby furthering India's growth story. The tough scheme has been continued. That is a very good news for the textile industry. Secondly, to improve the man-made fibers consumption, the import duty on man-made fibers and PTADM to which is raw material was expected to come down. It has come down from 10 to 7.5 percent. So in that way, we will say that it is expected line and it will provide growth to the textile industry. The import duty has come down along with the peak rate from 12 and a half to 10 percent. We had requested that it be maintained because we don't have adequate raw material. But bringing it down is not going to make that much of a material difference. And if everything is brought down as a peak rate, this is fine. Uh, the other thing which the paper industry had asked for was a rationalization and excise duty, which has not happened. But overall, I think it is not to be viewed from the paper industry point of view alone. We have to see it from an overall industry and manufacturing standpoint. There, I think uh, there are some issues. Uh, uh, the issues in terms of taxation. The finance minister has focused on this sector in a big way and a much larger investment than before is being in made. A 2% increase in GDP uh, from the past investment in agriculture has uh, been promised. But it's a question of a l much longer time because water, etc., takes a long time to uh, implement. However, it's a very good thing. The best uh, part of it is that he has made uh, biofuels excise free. This will encourage investment in the industry. The private side, there have been things uh, in the medical equipment, two and a half percent reduction in customs. Uh, clinical trials has been exempt. So there is, I think there's some good news there. But largely, the private healthcare sector has got no real focus in the last couple of years from the budget. And it needs a lot of focus and attention, just like infrastructure is getting today, to actually create the health infrastructure of the country. Uh, the finance minister has extended the sunset clause by another five years which is a good news from the R&D side, totally. The allocation for tourism ministry has increased from 423 crores to 520 crores, which is good. But uh, this means that the ministry will have more uh, money for advertisement. But what is the use of advertisement when we don't have hotels? So one thing more which is good is that three to four star hotels have been given a tax holiday. Uh, this is good, but if the land prices are still high, it will not, people will not get a return on their investment.